Hello, I'm astronaut John Creighton. I uh, joined the uh, space program in uh, 1978 with the 35 new guys that were picked specifically to fly the space shuttle and was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to fly the space shuttle three times. Uh, first time as a pilot on STS-51G and then as the commander on STS-36 and uh, commander once again on the STS-48. And uh, it was a I used to, you know, tell people to beat working for a living. It was a great, you know, a great job. And I often get asked, uh, you know, a variety of things about space flight. And one of the questions that invariably happened was, you know, what's the scariest thing that ever happened to you while you were in space? And as luck would have it, it was on my last flight, my third flight, the last night, about 10 minutes before uh, we were due to wake up, when all of a sudden. Uh, the alarm went off, said that we had a cabin leak in the space shuttle, and that can be catastrophic. And uh, I was sleeping on the flight deck at the time, and and by the time I got out of my sleeping bag and started you know, going through the uh, instrumentation to try and figure out what was wrong, well, I had four sets of eyeballs looking over my shoulder there, and so we uh, it took us a couple of minutes to sort out exactly what it was, and it turned out that we didn't really have a cabin leak, but we had a sensor that had drifted off scale. Uh, but uh, about the time that we figured it out for ourselves, we got a phone, uh, a radio call from the ground saying, sorry about that, we've been watching that all night long and this sensor was drifting off scale and we were hoping it was going to make it till uh, wake up time so we could tell you after you woke up. Uh, but you, know, you obviously discovered that it went off before that you know, and I could have killed them. You know, I'm sure that that took two years off my lifespan when that alarm went off up there because you know, if, if it had been a real cabin leak, we had literally minutes to either figure out if we could fix the leak or whether we had to jump into our pressure system and do a de immediate deorbit. And that meant we probably wouldn't come back to a runway you know, because there were only certain opportunities to get the shuttle back to the runway. So we'd had to you know, come in immediately and jettison the hatch and parachute out. So that was kind of a scary couple of minutes, but it, it went off, uh, you know, fortunately without a hitch. That's probably the scariest thing that ever happened to me in the shuttle.